Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome to another Disney Loungefly video. I have become obsessed with Loungefly this year and I have purchased way too many. Let's just put it this way, before the start of 2020, I only had two Loungefly bags that I had bought over the course of two years. So one Loungefly a year. And now I have like, honestly, too many to count. I don't even know how many I have. But I got some recently. Like in the past month or so, I've gathered some new ones and I thought I'd show them to you because quite a few of them are like Christmassy and also two of them would probably make it into like my top five favorite lounge flies ever i love them that much and i'm so glad i own them now and so yeah let's do a little lounge fly haul kind of some of my favorites video type thing first one is this lounge fly bag that i got uh, i want to say about two three weeks ago i got this from i think it might have been ebay in fact the majority of these bags i got from ebay because with this one especially this one is a placement lounge fly bag and what that means is that it's like a print but not every single bag is going to look the same because the print might be put on the bag in a different pattern in a different way on each one and i'm very specific about these placement bags a normal disney fan a normal casual person in life probably wouldn't care so much but i was really specific about this bag and i really wanted to have my own perfect placement and a perfect placement could mean something completely different to each individual person it just depends on what you want on your bag and i knew that i wanted the castle and mickey to like be very visible and i don't know i just i spotted this one on ebay i looked at quite a few and this one was new and i saw it and i saw the position of it the placement of it and i just fell in love with this so yeah this is the new christmasy bag that they brought out this year in 2020 they had a similar one that came out last year that one's black this one is like a navy color which i actually prefer because i prefer blue you guys know it's my favorite color as you can see it's just got like patterns of different things to the top of it of like i said it's going to be different with each bag but we've got mickey on the top santa mickey looking adorable then we've got some of the like attractions from i, I want to say disney world but it could also be disneyland california we've got small world we've got the teacups which i think is very cute and then that's peter pan and then one thing i really loved about this specific placement is that here on top of the pocket is like the christmas baubles the decorations and stuff ornaments and i just thought the placement of these in particular was so cool like really cute just the way it's kind of like hanging um, and then we've also got some snowflakes, here we've got some stars, uh, the like attractions again, and then uh, there's tiki room as well, <laughs> one of my favourite attractions. I'm joking, I hate the tiki rooms. And then on the bottom, which this is one of my favourite bits about this particular bag, uh, is the print of the castles, which like very Christmassy, really cute. This uh, bag does have side pockets. I rarely use these side pockets because they don't have zips and I'm just too scared that I'd put anything in them and they're going to fall. But you know, it's, it's good to have. Uh, it's got like a standard um, inside pocket. I've got, <laughs> look what I've put in there. Hand gel, literally. Standard 2020 situation. I, I did go out with this bag the other day. That's why it's in there. The zip is silver, which I really like. And then uh, let's have a look at the inside. The inside like lining is just some little stars so nothing too special but it's cute enough and yeah it's just like the same size as the majority of the lounge fly bags you can see it here in comparison to my face i love it this is the back of it as well so that's the kind of full print um that you would get and like you know like i said earlier with uh, placement bags they would just be located differently on each individual bag love it really cool this is probably my favorite christmasy lounge fly bag that i own next i want to show you another kind of christmasy lounge fly bag that only actually arrived yesterday so i haven't used this yet i haven't even opened it properly yet but i mean look at this ah oh, this is beautiful like i'm a huge fan of silver the color silver i just love so much and they'd already released another lounge fly bag that was silver but i think this one's more of like a hologram feel and it's just slightly more sparkly from what i can tell so i prefer this one i think the patterns of the sequins are also slightly different on this bag than the previous one it actually almost looks like little mickeys i don't even know if you can tell or not but yeah we're kind of looking at this bag together for the first time because like i said i haven't actually properly looked at it yet the first thing i've noticed and one detail that i love about this particular bag is that the zip for the front pocket is like a snowflake which i think kind of makes it more of a wintry vibe this there you go that's the front bit of it, it sparkles and everything very cute even the logo the disney large fly logo is glittery like so much silver Oh, it's beautiful. The bow itself is a really, really nice uh, material. Um, very sparkly again. I love it. Very hologrammy. And then they've got the ears here in the back. Uh, they do put these things on the lounge fly bags to make sure that the ears stay up. So that's cool. Um, I feel like if I took this off, I'm not going to take it off now. The, the ears might have the tendency to kind of lean forward a bit. So it's 
it's good to have this. Um, this one also does have pockets, side pockets, which is cool. Same on the other side. There you go. And the back of it, look at this. It's like magical. I love this so, so much, guys. I'm so excited to use this. I don't own very many sequined Loungefly bags, believe it or not. So I think this might actually only be my third one that I own. But I love this. It's really nice. Um, I'm going to open the zip bit. You do have this foam thing in there because it's not been used yet. I'm going to open the big bit because... Oh, yeah, by the way, the zips also have this kind of same kind of material as the bow. Um attached to them which is nice but i'm excited to see what the lining is as you can see this is, hasn't been opened yet so we're going to do this together i have just emptied this bag out of all its like paper stuff but the lining i don't know how well you'll see it but it just looks to be some like silver mickey outlines which i think is really cute it goes well with the rest of the bag i really love this bag and this is quite a new one as well i think this only came out last month so it's like a 2020 exclusive one i think it's beautiful it gives me wintry vibes it gives me like frozen vibes like elsa kind of i don't know definitely a bag that i'll use on like special occasions i think because it feels kind of a bit more high class because it's sequined and like sparkly and i don't know it's quite Christmassy as well though next we have a bag that i first saw back when i was in walt disney world in february of this year you'll be able to actually see me first spot this bag in one of my vlogs i think it was in hollywood studios i went to a shop and i saw this bag and i loved it i actually like filmed this bag in particular talk about how much i love it and how much i want it but stop myself from buying it because i'm like oh like lounge buy bags are quite expensive and i've just bought another one already so i don't want to buy two and then guys i made a mistake because turns out that throughout lockdown like kind of from march onwards when lounge fly just as a brand got so popular and people started to buy so many of them and like it you know kind of raised in value this particular bag became a great like a rare one to find and I couldn't find it anywhere around like May or June time I started looking for it because I really wanted it. I remember that this was a bag that I really liked couldn't find it anywhere like it was very rare on eBay and if it did come up it was expensive or it was like a pre-owned used one that I didn't really want to pay that much for so I kind of gave up I remember I even like messaged a few like lounge by collectors like really well-known lounge by collectors asking them if they could help me they would point me in the right direction if they knew where I could find this I was like I'm, I'm prepared to pay any kind of money just tell me where I can find them and they were like yeah it's kind of gone on. we don't know if you know you'll be, you'll be able to find it anytime soon it's very rare but i think recently they've released them again or like a small amount of them have become available again in the american disney parks or in disney world florida because disneyland california is still closed and so i managed to find one on ebay and i bought it and this is again a placement bag so i had a look at a couple of different ones i saw i think two or three on ebay I was so excited that i probably would have bought any of them to be fair because i love this bag so much but i was lucky that i managed to find one with a really really good placement that i particularly really like and this is the bag <laughs> look at how cute this is it's not a secret that i love mickey and minnie in this new kind of cartoony cheeky form so much i love the cartoons i watch them all the time on disney plus it's probably the one thing that i watch the most actually on disney plus i think they're hilarious they remind me of my disney world holiday with my friend marie because when i went with her back in january of 2018 we watched them all the time my friend marie absolutely loved the cartoons and she would watch them constantly and i would just half watch them if you know what i mean like it was always playing in our hotel room and they are just so fun i think Mickey and Minnie look adorable look at this like look how cute this is so yeah this is like a you know leathery fake leather situation white you've got different patterns of Mickey and Minnie that's why it's the placement bag again I love this one in particular it's so cute you've got Mickey's pants or trousers <laughs> look at this one oh my god they're adorable uh the zip is silver again which i do tend to prefer because i just generally prefer the color silver to gold or i don't really like rose gold either so silver really is my favorite kind of material when it comes to the zips um the logo bit slash fly back bit is black and silver which is lovely um this one also does have some side pockets look at minnie's face same here again this one i haven't um used yet so completely new um and then oh it's even got like a little price tag here it says 75 us dollars and i think i kind of paid around the same actually but no that's a lie i paid about 90 pounds i think or 95 pounds for it on ebay but like i said completely worth it i'm happy with it because i wanted this for so long the straps are black kind of the same um fake leather type situation but black uh that's the back of it kind of the full print i don't even know if you can see it there you go so these are the different kind of designs that you can get on the front for the placement. Let's open this as well and have a look at the inside because I actually have no idea what the lining's like. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god, I've just spotted the lining actually. There you go. Didn't even need to empty it properly because you can already see it. It's cute. It's red. 
and it's got uh, i think it's mickey and minnie on there so that's adorable but i'm happy with it i've got two more bags to show you the next one is possibly my favorite lounge fly bag ever if you know me you'll know which one i'm about to show you now i've already spoken about it in one of my videos before this is the one <gasps> Oh my god, this is beautiful. Like, this is actually a thing of beauty. I can't even believe I'm holding it. I can't believe I'm speaking like this about a materialistic thing, but what can you do? We're in 2020. Anything's acceptable now. This is so cute, though. This is gorgeous, so... <laughs> Number one, the colour is blue, I love it. It's mixed with silver, which is my other favourite colour. Like, blue and silver together are just, like, my base. I love it. Stars, gorgeous, beautiful, so me. Silver zip, you know, the sparkly ears here as well. This is just gorgeous. Again, I haven't used this yet. This arrived about two weeks ago, and I've just kind of been looking at it and staring at it and being excited that I own it. So, yeah, let's have a look at it together. This is from the Wish range that came out about a month and a bit ago. I've already got the spirit jersey for this and also the ear. Is. and so this was the last piece to kind of complete the whole set more or less um yeah we've got a lovely silvery bow i don't know how well my camera is going to pick up but the bow itself has some little tiny star designs on it which is so cute such a nice detail then we've got the lounge fly disney parks logo bit here this is the disney parks exclusive oh my god i love the sequins they are so cute then we've got like a silver line here for the zip we've got the stars here beautiful there's a zip, it will have the same foamy thing inside, so I'm not going to take it off just yet. This one also does have side pockets, like a lot of the large guys do. So there's one here, and one on the other side. So I guess you can put like, I don't know, some spare change in there, or something that's not too important. I definitely wouldn't put my phone in there, because I think if you put your phone in there, it's very easy for someone to just pick it out without you noticing and then steal it. Maybe I'm just being too overly cautious, but I, I just wouldn't do that. Um, and the back of this is again like this nice blue color faux leather situation with the straps and yeah let's have a look at the inside lining now well, actually yeah, the zips as well here on the top again silver with the same, same kind of um silvery bit around it but i'm looking forward to seeing what the lining's like oh my god i love the inside this has made me love the bag even more look the inside lining lord have genuine mercy can you see it guys it's basically like Fantasia Mickey, and you guys know how much I love Mickey in his uh, Sorcerer Mickey outfit. So they've got, you know, the hat here, and some stars, and some more stars, and I just think it's perfect. This bag was literally made for me, so Loungefly and Disney, thank you so much. Last, but by no means least, also sorry if the angle changed a little bit, I had to stop recording and press again. But yeah, the last Loungefly that I want to show you is actually one that I got at the very beginning of lockdown. It's one of my first Loungeflies. I think I got this back in April, and I actually got it for quite a cheap, like, decent price, because back in April, no one was really thinking about Christmas, and this Loungefly bag came last Christmas. It was released in 2019 for like 2019's Christmas range of lounge flies. And I remember I first saw it actually in like a YouTube video back in December of last year. Somebody had like done a lounge fly haul back when lounge fly wasn't even that big. And I watched it and I saw this bag and I was like, oh my god, I really want it. So I was really happy to get this done. But even though I bought this months and months ago, I've only recently started using it. I actually took this out with me today when I was out because it's Christmas time and this is a Christmassy bag. And look at this. Look at Santa Mickey. Oh my god. This is so cute. This is adorable. It's a very out there bag. It's not a bag that everyone would feel maybe comfortable wearing or using, but I'm an out there person, so this is very much me. And obviously, because it's very Christmassy, I feel like this one is kind of a bag that you would probably only use throughout Christmas times and when it's festive. I mean, if you want to use this in the summer, go ahead. Do what you want with your lives. But yeah, so this uh, is a slightly different design to the other large five bags that I've shown you. It doesn't have a front pocket. It's a character lounge fly, so we've got Mickey's face looking adorable uh, with oh, the fluffy beard here and his Santa hat. Oh my god, it's actually so soft. You've got the Santa hat here as well. He's got a belt, really cute. This is actually so nice and um, the actual feel of it is quite velvety. So the lounge fly tag is on the side, this one. It's so velvety, guys. I can't even explain to you. This feels like quite premium, I'm not gonna lie. You do have the side pockets again on both sides, so this is also a pocket. It is such a nice feel. Um, yeah, the back is also the same kind of velvety material. This bit is like the shiny redness. Um, the straps have like a gold chain situation. So uh, I guess because it's Christmassy, I don't really mind too much that the zip here, for instance, is gold. So is this bit. It's so beautiful. And yeah, you've got the ears that are kind of, you know, attached to the hats. So they're in the back. And the inside, the lining, um, <laughs> 
sorry there's a, that's a little mask that I put in there because I went out you know you have to carry masks with you everywhere so ignore that bit but yeah it's just little snowflakes so really really cute uh, snowflakes which I love so yeah this is definitely another one of my favorites and one that I feel like would get a lot of attention if you use it because it's very out there and it does feel really nice with the velvetness and just like the cute face and it's adorable okay I love it but yeah if you would like to see photos of me with these bags and maybe see some of them in more detail feel free to follow me on Instagram Sam for God I post a lot on there it's also the quickest way to kind of contact me if you have anything to say or a question or anything I'm very good at replying to people's DMs so thank you so much for watching subscribe for more videos like this put the bell thing on as well because YouTube's really bad at notifying people normally so i will see you in the next video bye